Let us journey back to the halls of Academia as we delve into Neil Stevenson's inaugural venture into literature with his lesser-known novel, The Big You. Penned in the sweltering confines of an Iowa city garret, fueled by lukewarm pickets and the clatter of a borrowed typewriter, this work emerged as Stevenson's maiden voyage into the literary world. Originally described as loose and baggy monster, it underwent a transformation under the guidance of editor Gary Fiskitchen, eventually seeing the light of day adorned with a delightfully lurid cover that still evokes chuckles at book signings. Despite being the least favored among Stevenson's oeuvre, The Big You, by his own admission, holds a special place as the cornerstone of his writing career and the threshold to his adult life. The Big You, a standalone novel published in the year 1984, spans a modest 308 pages, remarkably slim by Neil Stevenson's usual standards. Initially, it could have been classified as hard science fiction, though today its portrayal of technology appears rather ordinary, reflecting the technological expectations of the late 1980s or early 1990s. Despite or exactly because of this fact, depending on which side of the following argument you are on, it gets a high score on the sci-fi mo scale, just to keep the format of these reviews intact, since it basically describes a form of reality from a technological point of view at least. The novel unfolds within the confines of an American megaversity, situated in an unspecified urban landscape. This megaversity, true to its name, is housed entirely within a single colossal structure, accommodating lecture halls, recreational spaces, dining areas and dormitories. Such a setting imposes a sense of confinement upon the narrative, evoking feelings of claustrophobia and captivity for the readers. This is an important aspect that supports and enables the events described within the plot. While The Big U lays the groundwork for Neil Stevenson's exploration of novel and original themes, concepts and ideas, these elements remain largely underdeveloped within this specific narrative. Some of the themes were later fleshed out in Snow Crash or Anathem, for example. In addition, the contemporary backdrop, while familiar, does not lend itself to the presentation of groundbreaking new concepts. Hence, it gets a rather low score in this regard. Moreover, characteristic of Stevenson's style, The Big U introduces a cast of quirky and unique characters, which would become a hallmark of his storytelling. Approximately 10 named characters, including both protagonists and supporting figures, populate the pages of The Big U. The Big U, when it was published in 1984, garnered little critical acclaim, not being nominated for any of the major, noteworthy awards. Even Neil Stevenson himself has openly expressed his lack of pride in this book, when his acclaimed work Snow Crash skyrocketed him to fame upon its publication in 1992, the Big U had already fallen out of print, and Stevenson had no qualms about leaving it in obscurity. However, when original editions began fetching high prices on eBay, he reluctantly agreed to its republication, stating that the only thing worse than people reading the book was that people were paying that much money to read it. From a contemporary standpoint, The Big U falls short in comparison to Neil Stevenson's better known novels in terms of its popular reception. It received an overall rating of 3.4 out of 5 stars, compiled from numerous reviews sourced from popular platforms, such as Goodreads, LibraryThing and Amazon.com. The narrative unfolds the disillusionment experienced by a group of young intellectuals as they confront the realities of higher education, satirized within the story of The Big U. 
As time progresses, their lives and sanity deteriorate in various ways due to a series of escalating events, ultimately leading to a full-scale civil war erupting on the campus of the American Megaversity. Narrated from the viewpoint of Bart, a novice lecturer specializing in remote sensing, the book humorously critiques and lampoons virtually every group found in university settings. While all factions are targeted, the portrayals of nerds, computer scientists and role players are particularly detailed, most likely stemming from the fact that Stevenson possessed quite in-depth knowledge of this demographic. Set within a fictional large university housed within a single building, a central complex with eight towers serving as student housing, the university becomes a self-contained universe. Stevenson utilizes this setting to gradually shift the narrative from a primarily realistic satire to increasingly improbable scenarios involving giant radioactive rats, swarms of bats and a lab-made railgun. But this change is gradual and you wouldn't really notice it at first. The Big U exhibits Neil Stevenson's talent in its raw form, which is particularly evident in his depiction of unique characters and a setting that gradually delves into the absurd, as mentioned previously. This quality bears resemblance to classics like Joseph Heller's Catch-22, surprisingly with respect to the quirkiness of his characters and the escalating absurdness of the setting. The Big U holds its own against Stevenson's more renowned works such as Snow Crash, Cryptonomicon, Anathem and the Baroque Cycle novels, which also exhibit quite the same traits, to be honest. Nevertheless, the listed novels are typically regarded as the pinnacle of Stevenson's literary prowess, whereas The Big U, not so much. Overall, if you enjoy Stevenson's satirical approach and his ability to craft compelling, distinctive characters, then The Big U, with its relatively modest 308 pages, could be appealing to you. However, do not anticipate the groundbreaking, thought-provoking narratives characteristic of Stevenson's more well-known works. The Big U may primarily appeal to fans interested in exploring Stevenson's early writing or those captivated by his absurdist tendencies and unique characterizations. It is not necessarily the ideal starting point for newcomers, but if novels like Snow Crash or Cryptonomicon left you eager for more, The Big U offers an entertaining, albeit somewhat pulpy, option that usually flies under the radar of popular reading lists and recommendations. If you liked this video, you may also enjoy the other reviews and content on my channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you want to discuss the novels or if you want to suggest other books that I should review in the future. Please consider upvoting and subscribing, it is much appreciated. Thank you for watching and until next time.